Hey guys, and welcome back to Communist China with me, NG Paradox. The year is still 1936, so that's a good thing to see, and we're trying to subdue Shangxi. If we can get rid of Shangxi by the end of this year, and hopefully then target Xibei, I'll be very happy with that. Uh, if we go past 1936, I'm going to be kind of unhappy. We need to get this done as soon as possible, and luckily it looks as though the tide of war is turning in our favor. We're going to be able to cut these guys off in these two different areas and hopefully then they will all be stuck and it should be an easy win from there. They've only got two men up here and the rest will be trapped. So we can go down that way. He'll attack him there so that way he can't escape. These guys are now trapped in here. This guy's being attacked here. Uh, how's recruitment going? Okay, they've actually almost done. They've got enough equipment. Uh, well, 99%. So let's go for a second one right now. Okay, perfect. They're trying to attack. I'm going to keep an eye on him, obviously, because we might need to go and take them out. These two are fine right now. Once these two are dead, and once this one is dead, we'll be fine. Uh, that's just what we need to do right now. We just need to kill off these three troops. And then we can just send all our men onto this border and just march forward. We have a new unassigned troop. I will actually just put you with uh, those guys. Just go help them take care of these last remnants. There we go. That one is done. Uh, we've now got the border all along here. I'm going to have to change up the tactics. Uh, how about we just... Uh... Okay, let's grab this guy. And we'll delete this and this. Same with you. How about you delete this? Okay, we'll get some new tactics. Uh, these guys... Are going to be with you. So they'll go with him. Uh, these guys will just continue their thing. With this guy, though, we're going to do the front line, and we'll put it here. So when these guys are done, they'll come join this front line. We'll get the offensive movement done. We need to just go straight for their capital. There we go. Uh, that should be fine there. So we'll have that activate. But these guys will hopefully just continue there. These guys will continue their attack here. The rest, though, hopefully will go and defend what we've already taken, and help finish off the situation. Um, I'm actually going to move you on your own. How about you just go take that. And we'll see what the AI does with them. we got the radio done now. I think now with this they've got two troops from what I can see. Three the five divisions. So yeah that's probably all their divisions right now. Unless they're making more. But we did take a couple of their factories. Which was really important for us. Uh, now we've got that done. Let's go for some industry. Let's get production up. We have to try and do our production. Like I say, once we get these out of the way, hopefully we can just start churning men out. And, of course, more things. Hopefully we can get some help from the Russians. Maybe we can also churn out some tanks, possibly. Um, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. This may just be a, an infantry type of deal. He's going to clean up the situation, it looks like. These guys can hold these guys off. And if they can obviously break through, they might be able to break through here, it looks like. And here. And they finished off over here. So here we go. This comes... The attack. And here we go. This should be the end, I think, of Shang-Chi. There's another troop over here, though. So they did have one more. Three divisions. There we go. That's all they've got. This is one for us, then. Um, we got nine divisions. We kept all of our divisions. We didn't lose any, I don't think. Which is good, because every man that we have is important. That we have now got 1.8 uh, million manpower. So that should be good. Abolish the land rent. And look at that. Our stability and war support has gone up which is important next then this would allow us to go and attack um shibei straight away which could be good but i do want the extra research slot and i do want to go down here and get the factory output and stuff and power struggles H how is uh, shibei's men looking how many troops do they have could we combat them or do we need to build more five to nine Ooh, they're not that great are they hmm how about we go down here and get some of this? Let's get a little bit. Let's get a little bit of, uh, you know, fixing our nation. Because hopefully if we defeat these guys, that should be fine. The Polish-Romanian alliance. The Poles and Romanians have announced a renewed commitment to each other's defense. Although good relations have existed between the two nations for well over a decade now, today's announcement indicates that a policy of mutual defense is increasingly dominating military planning both in Poland and Romania. So that means, obviously, I, I'm guessing they'll help each other if they go to war. Is guaranteed by Romania. So it's not a faction or anything, they're just kind of guaranteeing each other. 
At the moment, we can see here Republican Spain. It, um, it's, it's pretty even. It, it's pretty even. Republican Spain not doing a bad job. They got their lands together, at least. Sometimes they get a bit cut off, but let's have a quick look. No, this all looks fine. Yeah, they're fine off over here. They should be able to deal with that. They can keep pushing forward. Why are these guys not marching? Just go take the capital. Cut them off. There you go. Some sometimes this game, I don't know. Nine divisions are in that. How about you just go cut... Just get rid of this troop. Just go cut them off and they're dead. Just finish it off. Support weapons. Done. New research. More weapon stuff. It's still 1936. How about we go for some more support equipment? So maybe we could actually get some extra different divisions. Or I could go for a land doctrine. Out of supply. That could be useful though. Let's go for that. Uh, we might not actually change our divisions just yet. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, they're going to stop our men because they know if we take that, they'll be in trouble. We could send this man around here, around behind them. How about we do that? Um, let's send you around behind because they're far... Oh, no, he decided... Oh! And they gave up. <laughs> just like that, they gave up. So, perfect. We'll take this. We can't have that. Okay, we'll go for that. Um, end the turn. Give me this. I can't take that just yet. Pass. Pass. Give me this. End turn. And there we go. It's all mine. <laughs> and there we have it, guys. I didn't think it would end that quickly. It just suddenly ended. I don't know why they just suddenly gave up, but that's really good for us. We got all that lovely land. Uh, we still... Okay, we still got nine factories, which is not that great. Will that change? Maybe we could convert one of these into a factory, possibly. I might want to do that. Can we actually build more factories? That's a good point. We cannot build any more factories at all. Which is a shame. Okay, well, let's grab our armies in a second. We took three states. They were annexed. We got 1,119 equipment. What do we get? Just guns, I guess. So gun-wise, we still uh, need 1,800 more guns. So still... Oh, we've now got 11 factories, actually. Construction, yeah. So we've got 7 over here. So I probably want to convert these or... Yeah. We probably want to convert one of these. I'm, I'm going to try and convert one. Let's convert one to... Should we go for military factory up here? Or down here? Um, Let's go for here. We'll turn this one to a military factory. I think that's a good idea. Once we've done some of the infrastructure, um, these guys are going to make a front line over here. So we've only got nine. We've only got nine troops at the moment, but that's fine. We'll delete. We don't need two going at the same time. We don't have enough going. So get the men ready. Shibe will be next. But that's a much nicer picture. How's Japan doing? Purge the militarists. Okay. So we're fine for now. That's that's good to see. Hopefully they're staying away from China. Then again, what is China doing? Mining commission. Okay, that's not bad either. How many men do you have? And we got decisions actually as well. So quick look at this. Uh, stage incident at Yunnan. Nothing really can do from that. Develop uh, Suyan. Suyuan. Iron ore deposits. Okay, war propaganda. Nothing. Yeah, nothing really there for us. Okay, how is uh, Yunnan's communism coming along. It's going okay. The communism is increasing down there. Happy to see our war support and our stability look pretty nice at the moment. I'm happy with the situation now. Seven to eight divisions. So we actually have more divisions than he has right now. Uh, cornered no more. The Red Army once survived in a state of what seemed like hopelessness, but since the long march several years back, the tide has slowly turned with significant territorial advances our role as an underdog is a thing of the past. Having fought through this time of struggle, our desperation is now behind us. Mao Zedong has gone from guerrilla army leader to chairman. So there we go. He loses cornered fox, which gives us defense and recovery. That's kind of a shame. We he actually uses he loses a good bonus, which is a shame. But again, we have to expand, don't we? Did actually did our generals gain anything? Mao Zedong does have stuff. We'll go for this. And this. Done. 
He's now organization first and charismatic. And with our experience, can we also update our division? Could be a good idea. What, what can we add? I don't think we have much to add, do we? It'll cost 5, 10. We kind of want 15, I guess. You're going to have to just wait for now. See if we can add more later. But yeah, yeah, still not in a great position, but we're now slightly better. Uh, we definitely want some more military factories. Um, that's almost done. So once that's done, they can do this, and that should be fine. Um, then we have two more military factories. So it'll be five to six. And I'll be fine with that, because there's not really much. We, we can't really build much here at the moment anyway. I might want to just declare war as soon as we can. So maybe we should just go down this path next instead. Um, but I could get rid of, I could get the factory output and construction speed, which would be good because, you know, we are now in a better position. We now actually have some factories, etc. Let's go for agrarian socialism. Let's cement the fact that Mao Zedong is the leader. Modify the government. Okay, we can get some other stuff now as well. We could get some military stuff because we are planning to fight. But it would be good to get some political stuff as well. Um, Deng Xiaoping, one of the few names I know on here. I do want that. But I don't think we can get him, no. Uh, war industrialist, military factory construction speed. We can't really construct any right now. Stability, popular figurehead, stability goes up. But we got 85% right now. I'm okay with that. Let's go with infantry. Shu Xiang Qian. I think we should go for him. He increases the infantry's abilities. And we know we're mostly going to be using infantry. So that seems like the best thing for us to do right now. Ah, stage incident. Well, well, well. So we could stage an incident here at Jiu Jiu Tuan border. Huh. We could try that out. So if I do that, I can take it. Okay, we'll do that. We'll stage an incident up here. Um, what do we do then? Effects were removed. Activate the escalate to border conflict with Shibei Sanma. Okay. Not sure how this affects it, but we'll see. I guess we can just activate. Oh, I, I wait. Okay, when it gets to there, it's activated. More factories make more guns. The more guns we have, the more men we can get. That's just how, that's how, that's how, think, that's how life works, you know? Um, after that, I think we'll have enough factories, at least military factories, so what else do we want to have? Um, air bases? Probably not. Anti-air could be useful, actually. Anti-air might be something we'll want against the Chinese. Or even Japanese. I think that's what we'll go for, yeah. Forts would be good. Then maybe we should build some forts, actually, against the Japanese. That is actually another good idea. Yeah. We could make some ports, um, some forts against the Japanese, like, around here. Is it that one as well? Yeah, we'd have to build one there as well. There's going to be a lot of construction of forts here. Just to give us a bit more defense against them. But also, the Chinese could just come through here. Which is kind of worrying. But let's just build against the Japanese. Because we don't want a surprise attack from them. We don't want a surprise attack from them. Ally with the Zabatsus. What is this? Preemptive coup? Huh. Okay, basic machine tools have been done. Change in popularity of democratic. Are they going to change their, their country? Okay, we're going to have to keep an eye on Japan. That could give us a good opportunity, actually, if they are just going to concentrate on that. Uh, construction speed, we don't want. Dispersed or concentrated industry. Factory output is slightly more for concentrated. I think we should probably concentrate. Yeah. We should probably concentrate on just, you know, on factories completely. Um, we have decisions. Let's do that then. Escalate to border conflict. We'll click that. Okay, so what happens here is that we get this guy down here. He now controls some troops and he fights. I've not really had much chance to kind of mess around with this, so I'm not completely sure what happens here. This army is fighting at a border conflict. You can't give direct orders to unite to units, remove divisions from the army, or replace the chairs of command. Huh. Interesting. We got 100%. I mean, there was no divisions there. <laughs> so I feel kind of bad for him at the time. 
But let's see. Um, we're starting to lose. He has to send his men up, though, I guess, which is bad because our men are taking a while to get there. Do we even know who's going to go there? I guess we could do this and see what happens. I want to see how this works, this border conflict. So we can see that right now. Um, with the whip, we've got slightly more whip for the moment, which seems to be giving us the slight advantage. we got the agrarian socialism, renewal of the Rome protocols at the Hungarian instigation. Italy, Austria, and Hungary have renewed the Rome Protocols, originally signed in 1934. The agreement pertained to economic development and reapproachment, essentially a declaration of friendship. There are signs it may lead to an official alliance aimed at counteracting the growing revisionist and expansionist tendencies of Germany. Well, this is very different. Okay, so th this, this time is going to be very different. We seem to have a new alliance there. Yeah. No faction, but are these guys going to join up? I don't know, maybe they're planning to. Maybe that's something later. Or at least they have uh, some things going on there. We don't want to get rid of power struggles. I don't need that. We're going to go down this way to get some extra fighting stuff and get the claims. And we get one infrastructure from that in Shangxi. But do they have anything else about them? No, no diplomacy stuff there. Okay, maybe that's something else. Then we'll have to wait and see. Um, we are winning the border conflict, but only just. Not completely sure how that works. We'll have to just wait and see what happens. Um, escalate the conflict. Cost 200. If we do that, we will go to war. Okay, so I could just actually activate that, and we could go straight to war. We got a new assigned unit. You can join that guy. How is that recruitment going? We seem to be going much quicker now. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. Let's get another unit. Let's start doing two at a time. I think we'll be a lot better there. How many men does he have? Seven to thirty. Ooh, he's gained more men. I've only got ten. Now, he could have less. <laughs> it doesn't mean he has thirteen, obviously. He could have eight. But I, I need to be careful. He's not got many on our border, though, which could then give us the element of surprise. Now, there would be six up here versus six when we got four down here that can just kind of burst in to his nation. Uh... Zhu Di falls ill. In his service to communist China, it seems General Zhu Di has pushed himself too far. As a result of the bad climate in their operational area, the general has now fallen ill and would likely need some time to recover. Ugh, unfortunate. For 30 days. He's on the border conflict. Is that going to turn it all against us then? It's actually looking like it's going in our way though. Even with him ill. No, no they're bringing it back. They could, this could be their time to bring it back while he's sick. No, our general! How can he fall? I might have to escalate the whole thing. How long? We've got 297 days. We need 200 political power. That's a lot of political power. But let's just go to war straight away. Yeah, we can do two at a time. That's fine. We've now got the factories to be able to do that. Um, our construction is still bringing another factory in. And hopefully we can start building those forts. Which I, we might not even need if Japan is changing. Okay. I've not really had a good look at the new Japan focus tree, so I'm not really sure what to expect from them. But uh, if they're not going to attack China anytime soon, I'm very happy with that. That gives me more time to take out Shibei. And hopefully I can take... I'm just trying to think. I don't think I can take out China on my own. Look at that. They've got like hundreds of divisions. Well, a hundred divisions possibly. I don't think I could take that on. We're going to need some help. Um, focus on China gives us extra defense and attacking core territories. We want that. Focus on. We're going to focus completely on China nowadays. Uh, the Hindenburg incident. Disaster was narrowly averted today when a diesel fuel leak was discovered on the German passenger airship the Hindenburg, as it came into dock at the Lakehurst Naval Air Station in the United States. Well, isn't that lovely? No Hindenburg disaster for this alternative history. It's been a very alternative history, hasn't it? Very different so far. Our men look like they're getting weaker, though. Yeah. Now, he's losing some men. He's lost a lot of width there. He's only got three divisions. Is he bringing more in? Can I bring more in? Can I bring new 
ones in. I'm not completely sure how this is going to work. Uh, we can upgrade things, though, but just in case I want to escalate this to war. Oh, my. That's turned completely against us. What? He now got new divisions in. Can I do... I don't seem to be able to do anything with him. Because they look really weak. Can't I just, like, give him one? Can I take it out? No, I, I can't take it out or anything. Uh, how come the AI was able to do that then? That's not fair. Look, they're winning now. This is bad. This is really bad. Now, if that goes, can we not do the escalate conflict? That could hurt us quite badly then if we lose this. Guys, go back in. Fight. Why Why you stood there? Help. Look. Why did... Oh, I hate this game sometimes. I, I hate AI sometimes. Defeat in Suyuan. Forces under the command of Ma Bufang have succeeded in pushing us out of the disputed area between Suyuan and Ju Tuan. Our forces have retreated in good order and are now reorganizing should we want to renew the battle in the future. And we lose political power. Look at that. All that political power I just got, gone. Good job. Good job. You're an idiot. Okay, put these men back under him. Okay, we're just going to go get that focus. <laughs> After focus on China, we'll go for exploit the weak neighbors. We're just going to use that to invade him. But do we have the men? These guys are ready. Look at that. We're starting to actually produce equipment. Here we go. We're actually making equipment. Let's go. We just need to train them. It's just taking so long to train them because obviously... Um, we have the Red Army weakened. We've only got three of them now, and obviously this is recovery from the Long March. We've kind of recovered slightly. Um, Amelia Earhart disappears. The famous aviator Amelia Earhart, the first woman to complete a solo flight across the Atlantic, has disappeared along with her navigator, Fred Noonan. Oh dear. A loss for aviation. A loss for aviation and the world, maybe. That's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We know they have a lot more. Eight to thirteen. Mm, he's gonna. He's possibly gonna have as many men as we do. He's also got horses, as we can see there. I've even got horses. That should help us though in the attack. Anything else we could do? This could gain war support, preparing for against Japan, which would be good in the attack. I also want to get that extra science slot. Get rid of the power struggles. Power struggles is not the biggest deal. Let's just get the claim. Let's get that claim. So then if we want to, we can attack. Decisions available. Promises of peace. No, I'm sorry, people. <laughs> there will be no peace for now. There will be no peace. How's Yunnan? Getting a lot more communism. Slowly they're converting. It's now 1937. We haven't taken Shibe. If we can get Shibe by the end of 1937, I guess I'll be happy with that. Yeah, I guess that would be our plan for now. First air fleet. Oh, we have another one. Good. More? Nope. Okay, that's done. Recruitment. Yeah, it's looking good. It's going to take quite a while to get these guys trained up. So we should have in a very similar time frame, like five extra people coming in. We've now currently got 12. We've now also got another military factory, so even more guns for us. That was a good idea. I think we did the right choice. I'm not sure if Japan's coming, though. Because they went for that focus, which I think could stage start a coup. So we're not really sure what they're going to do. So for now, I'm actually going to delete these. Wish you could just delete it. We'll have to say yes. And how about that we make four? Oh, wait, um, I don't think there's anything we can't build. Can we still? Yeah, we still can't build. But we could build some forts along China. Oh no, don't don't that one. That's it, yeah? Okay, perfect. Let's build some forts just along the China route. Concentrate industry, that'll be good for us. Pocket defense, both at the same time, just coming in. So instead now, we're in 1937, so let's go for construction speed. Could be okay actually right now, because we are building quite a lot. But let's go for production. We want, to we want to produce things. Building stuff is not a priority right now. We can't build much except for forts. We need to do some military stuff. Um, motorized. We could go for maybe 
some support equipment possibly. Let's go for some support equipment so we can at least choose some other things maybe after that. Let's go for that one. And decisions. We finally got some more political power. Um, we have another incident, but that, that didn't go well. That did not go well for us last time. I, I'd rather just go to war, I think. Because I think if you do that, if you win, you get that little territory that you see there. Yeah, so that territory is quite a big territory you would get. But we might as well just attack and take the whole thing. Because I, I can't trust the AI general to win it. That's the problem. I can't trust them to win it. Uh, we've got more arm... Actually, that... Oh, that border conflict actually gave us a lot of army experience. Interesting. Now, we have nothing add to add in for support. We could add, you know, another man slot there. Free the free. Doesn't feel too bad. Maybe we want to add a bit... One more over. Possibly. Ha. Huh. You're the bigger you'll come up with and the fewer these divisions you'll be able to fit into the same battle. Maybe we could go for, like, that. Yeah, that. And that. Th this would be a lot better. It costs 30, which would be exactly what we have. And in the next war we win, we can add some support stuff if we can actually research that. So for now, we just go for men. Is this too many, though? I mean, we are China. We have lots, we have lots of men. So I feel like we, we should really be going for lots. Let's save this. Let's save that. It's going to take longer to get things done, though. And we're going to need a lot more guns. So how about we click off the smallest ones? That should make it easier. Okay, a lot less guns there. So we're going to need a lot more guns at the moment. Should I delete another one? To make a new unit... By doing that, I've kind of hurt us in making lots of troops. And they've got 10 to 15 now, so they've probably got about 12 like us. The Pax Americana, look into the conflicts on the other continents. Franklin Delana Roosevelt has announced a new foreign policy program intended to keep the peace at home. Any government on the American continent may appeal to the United States for military protection. Well, there we go. And we can now declare war on Chi Bay. <sighs> See, this has stopped us from making that many regiments, but I think it's good because... We're, we're China, we have lots of men. We need to try and push for that. So this is a change we need to do. Uh, infiltration, I don't think so. War support would be nice, but also get in this research slot. And going down this one would be good as well. So I think we're fine. We don't need to worry too much about China right now. So I'm um, sorry, Japan. So let's go for base stability. Let's get that re let's just get the research slot. I'm going to keep putting it off. <laughs> if we keep going, I'm just going to keep putting it off. We could now declare war on uh, Shibe. And right now, he doesn't have that many men here. Now, we don't know what the other men are, but it wouldn't be too bad. 10 to 15. It's probably a similar amount of men. Um, some of our men are missing guns, of course. That's something I should keep in mind as well. We do need 5,000 guns. But, they're fine. He's got more men down here now. We can see that one there. Don't want to wait too long. Say, I, it's almost the end of 1937, isn't it? And we can see they've got more men on the border now. Oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't have changed those templates. I should maybe should have kept the simple one that we had. Taken Shibei. Then we could have done it from there. That maybe would have made the most sense. Yes, yeah, so we could have got Shibe, and then from there, we could have looked into what we wanted to do. That maybe would have made more sense. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, we're going to have to live with it for now. I could stage another... In I'm not staging another incident. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's at least got nine there, we can see. Eight to 17. He's got five... He's only got two military factories. Ten to 14 now. So he's definitely got about 12, I would say. I would definitely say it's about 12 he's got. Don't have that one then. Uh, we can do some government stuff. How about we do some military things again for the current war? Division recovery rate uh, plus 8%. I do like that. Attrition goes down as well. I say we're going to concentrate on people, so let's go for army regrouping. Uh, the end of the Spanish Civil War. With the surrender of the last Republican stronghold, the Spanish Civil War has come to an end.
The Nationalists stand victorious. Well, there we go. It's over in Spain. What does this mean for Europe? We've now got a fascist Spain. We've got what looks like a possible alliance between Hungary, Austria, and Italy. Poland and Romania are friends. Who's going to be friends of Germany, you know? Who's going to be friends of Germany at this rate? We've got a new research, though. Let's go with some... Recon? Uh, engineers. Let's go for some engineers for now. Keep it simple. Let's get some simple things. We just need to get the basics. We have no basics. <laughs> we have no basics at all right now. How are you two? No new traits we can get for you. Which is a shame because we've got a lot of command power. And France and Britain announce alliance. Calling upon the bonds forged during the Great War, France has requested a formal alliance with Britain, citing unspecified threats against the stability of Europe. Well, obviously, with the whole thing with Spain, it doesn't surprise me. We got the new science. Pact of Rome formed. Today, the respective governments of Italy, Austria, and Hungary issued a joint statement announcing the formation of the Pact of Rome. The three powers have vowed to aid each other militarily, both defensively and offensively, should the need arise. Germany is not looking great. Yeah. So there we go. There we go. Pact of Rome. So we've got Italy, Austria, and Hungary. Pretty interesting one right there. Who is the leader? Is a member. Is a member. Is it Hungary then? Is faction. Hungary is actually the faction leader of this alliance. So we've actually got the Allies, Axis, and Pact of Rome, which is an interesting thing there. Uh, I think next I'm going to go down this way. Let's keep concentrating on our people. Let's get them to love us. Let's get rid of these inner turmoils that are affecting our nation. And we're almost to the next year. Italy joins the Pact of Rome, we just saw that. Austria, and of course Hungary. Now, what do I want to get here? We're almost to 1938, so we can get this stuff very soon. But until then, I guess I'll go for a doctrine. Yeah, we'll go for that then. We'll go down that doctrine route, get some military stuff in. But do I want to go to war before the end of the year? I think I might want to. 12, he's, definitely, he's definitely got at least 12. Okay, he's got a lot of men right now. This is going to be a big war, whatever happens. Welfare, local arms. Japan's got torpedo cruisers. Invite Japanese investors. Construction efforts. Okay. Xinjiang, labor reforms. Yunnan has got a lot, a lot of communism. And they're going to embrace the opium trade. How could you, Long Yun? How could you? Think of the people. Think of those poor people who get addicted. So we've got two more. That's looking quite nice. So we've got two more just then. We're going to get one more coming in just a second. There we go. So that gives us 15 regiments. And I think we might be ready. Uh, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. It's only been like... Has it been like a year since the last war, I think? Yeah. He's only got at most 16. So this is a pretty even war if we go and do this. How many guns do we need? 6,000 guns right now. Let's delete one of these. Let's delete that one as well. Let's do one division right now. we got more men we're making. We need more factories. We need to attack these guys to take their weapons. That's what I want. But we need to build more weapons as well. We're not going to attack on Christmas Eve. That's just, that's just horrible. That's a horrible thing to do. Five of those. I'm fine with that. Yeah, just keep making guns. Um, decisions? We're fine there. We're now into the next year. I did want to take this before this year happened. Should I attack? Okay, let's make a tactic. Offensive line. I think we should just go for the capital. Can I see anything that might stop us? Okay, there's an actual... There's a victory point down here. Victory point there, which is on the way. And nothing up north, so... It looks pretty good. Yeah. I think we're going to go to war. Let's annex them. It's a new year. It's a new war. We've recovered from the previous war. I know we're not exactly ready for war, but we don't need to be. Let's go, Mao. Let's go, Mao and your, your generals. We will fight till the end. We must take Shibei as quickly as possible. It is the only hope. If we can take that, that'll be really good. 
Improved machine tools. Let's go with... We're 1937 now. Construction speed might be good right now. Research time. Let's go for research time now. We've got three slots as well. Let's look down the line. Not looking too bad. It's uh, it's kind of going back and forth here. This is the main one. If we can win this, this allows all three of these troops to make a step forward, which would be massive. And we can see there it's an open field. So this could be the big breakout point. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to see us break through there. Also, here would be good. Then again, that connects to here. But we should be fine if that one does. Good job, everyone. Keep going. Keep going. We've got 1.9 million people that can go to our service. We must continue this war against oppression and to help the peasants of this land. The common people will rise up with us. And here we go. That is about to be... We also won here. That's good. I want to be able to see. Okay, we got those guys there. How about... Okay, they're not doing anything. You go there. Then I think we should just push through. We should just push through the two best ones. Uh, these guys are best. Let's push through with those two. Just keep going through. Try and break through this attack. Um, we've got that then. Let's go for Maoism, gain base stability. And we go this way and get war support as well. So I uh, maybe we should go for war support actually first. Let's go for war support. Yeah. Then we go for that. Then we I want to get our faction. But we should get for war support because we're at war currently. So it, it does make sense. Uh, they're going to go attack us. So you guys are going to try and stop them. When do you get there, though? One day and 15 hours. Three days. Okay, so that one's fine. They should be able to block that out. They have two here. Now, he could go get that. Which might not be great, but we'll see. They didn't do well on this side. Okay, so we, the, the war is well under uh, underway right now. We've got 86 there. Okay, they're defending now. They defeated them. Good job. Okay. Yeah, they defeated them. They're going to march forward. Hopefully, this is a sign we can break through here. They're defending there. Okay, we're winning most battlefields. And there we go. We break in, we've broken through here. If we can just continue and fight against these guys, maybe we can actually break through and go straight for the capital. So, I'm going to have to end this part here with a new year and a new war. Shibei will fall against the might of Mao Zedong and his great general, Lin Biao. I, I don't know Lin Biao in real life, so... But, yeah, hopefully this can work out. Then, once we take that, we'll look very nice compared to China, though still China will be much more powerful, but we'll have all the factories. Maybe we can then go for Xinjiang and Tibet next. Those may be two we should try and take after. We'll have to wait and see, but, guys, until then, I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, this success can continue. Hopefully, Japan stays out of China. Which it does seem to be. So uh, I'm kind of happy with that. And in Europe, things are very different. So I don't know what to expect from them. So there's a lot of unexpectedness going on right now. I don't even know what the Soviets are doing. Stalin Constitution. What does that even mean? Okay, political power. <laughs> it's going to have a constitution. Okay, but yes. I'll see you guys next time.